Hi, I'm Jennifer Hollick with Finding the Answers Journey in the World War II Research and Writing Center. It's April 10th, 2019, and this is Choosing You First. The topic this week is about what are you able to receive? And this was not my original topic. I intended yesterday to launch my memoir and talk about something completely different but the energy and some events that have happened over the last week and a half and the fact that I was really sick yesterday led to the postponement of the memoir. And for me sitting with a lot of the feedback and observations I had about where things were going with it. And I think I mentioned last week in one of my videos that I participated in a webinar called When Is It Time to Write Your Memoir? And I thought we'd be talking about the entire book, you know, in some form or fashion, the different, there's, because there are two different themes. One is the military and journeying through someone's footsteps and transforming your life, making new choices. And the other was about choosing a life that most people don't. And what came after that, that we didn't expect the caregiving side of things. And I noticed in the, in the webinar, the conversation went more to the caregiving. We only barely touched on the military. And some of the people who read the book said they focused on the military. That was the most important part of the story to them. And then um, there was a little bit of feedback where somebody didn't understand really what the story was. And <clears throat> I sat with all of that and I thought, okay, this book is much more than I thought it was going to be. And that's happened a lot with my other storybooks that I write them they changed my life. I have awareness about what it all means, the bigger picture, and then maybe I'll go back and tell stories from it later or I will reread it and realize because I'm in a different place in my life that that book is much more than what I thought it was when I wrote it. This memoir has already shown me in several different ways over the last couple of weeks how much greater it is than what I thought. And it is something that will continue to give as long as it's published and people read it. Because I think every time you pick it up, you'll be in a different space in your life and you'll get something different from it. And maybe there will come a time where there's nothing left to get from it. And I think that's true for a lot of different books. You know, I, I, I've read a lot of different energy books or healing books, inherited trauma, military trauma, family histories, and depending on where I am in my life, I receive something different from those. And sometimes, you know, I, there's Deborah Harkness's The Discovery of Witches trilogy. Uh, I've read nine times now. Every time I read it, I learn something new about myself. I learn something new about the characters, and I see something that I never read in that book before. And I know I'm not the only person to experience these things. So when we talk about receiving, you know, we really need to keep in mind that where we are in our life, the experiences we've had, our belief system all affects that. Now, I know many of you are doing some writing, doing some family history, military history. Some of you even do public speaking. And you wonder, if I tell my story, will anybody listen? Will they receive it? Or will they think it's total crap? We all wonder that. And my point of view is everybody has a story to tell. And if you are brave enough to tell it, it will help or inspire someone else and it will help shift their life. And it won't be for everybody, but nobody can write a book or create a movie or a television show that's for everybody. So, you know, let the perfectionist side of you go and just create what is true for you and what the universe has whispered to you will be beneficial to help others and let it out into the world. So my invitation for you this week is to sit with the concept and the energy of receiving and think about where you're able to do that in your life and think about those places where the resistance comes up and that anger, or irritation, whatever that is in you when somebody gives you feedback or you watch something on TV or read something and something triggers you and you think, ooh, but when that happens, what is there that you should be looking at? What is there for you to receive if you would open up just a little bit? And sometimes it won't happen right away. Sometimes it has to sit with you 
for weeks or months or years and then you realize, oh, now I understand what that book was trying to say or that TV show or what my friend or my husband or wife was trying to say. Now I get it because we're in a different space. So try not to judge whatever's coming up for you. Try not to judge whatever you're trying to receive that maybe there's resistance to. Sit with it, honor your process, and see how your life changes. I would love to know what you think of this and how your life has changed by opening up a little bit more to receiving. So depending on where you're watching this, whether it's on our Finding the Answers Journey website, our YouTube channel, on LinkedIn, or on our Finding the Answers Facebook page, I would love to know what you think, where you've run into this, how you shifted your energy to be open to receiving more, and if you want to share what amazing things the universe sent to you after you did that, that would be great. I hope you have a great week. My memoir will be out on the 16th of April, 2019, and probably be a webinar coming out shortly after that. And I'm including it in my Your Family's War Journey Transformational Masterclass, which is opening up next week for a core group of people. If you're interested in learning more about that, watch for the landing page that will be coming out because I will run that again to a small group of people again in July. And it's a class that takes genealogy, military history, and your personal history to a much deeper level than anybody is taking you to. So if you're interested in transforming your life and your stories and really going deep into the history, you might want to check that out. Have a great week.